racing across the 50-mile front with a wind rising to a gale behind them, fires that had been raging in the Taupo Rotorua area during the last weeks of January burst out of control on Sunday, February 10th. Thanks to the cooperation of the RNZAF, a National Film Unit cameraman was flown into the heart of the fire area to bring back these pictures. Leaping across the Waikato River, the fire menaces hundreds of square miles at the centre of the North Island. Engines, firefighting equipment and hundreds of firefighters rush to areas miles apart in a desperate endeavour to beat the flames. Townships are threatened with destruction as the course of the fire changes with the wind. Men of the state's forest service and volunteers spearhead their attack against places where the fire has only a weak hold. Where it is strongest, little can be done. Only rain can end it. These men are tired, dog tired. Hour after hour, night and day, they've been at work, cutting out timber to leave a fire break that may save further damage. The fire sweeps unchecked towards the road. The road is blocked. Further along, a tree has to be cut away, and a family stand by to evacuate their home. This is another fire that may be the result of warnings that went unheeded. These men haven't slept for days, and there's still fire to be fought. As the plane comes in to collect our cameraman, flames are already sweeping along the windward side of the Taupo Aerodrome. An air patrol above, in radio contact with men on the ground, gives the direction of the fire. This cooperation between Air Department and Forest Service bridges delays in reaching fresh outbreaks. As the fire sweeps on across mile after mile of drought-dried country comes the threat to huge areas of planted forests, thousands of acres of timber that New Zealand with a huge building program can ill afford to lose. This is a national disaster. It emphasizes once again that a careless match, a cigarette butt or a picnic fire can leave vast areas of country timberless and wasted.